and I am here with the next tutorials. So in last tutorial we discussed about uh, the ribbon basic introduction and uh, how is the welcome screen on the Revit. So today I will discuss about uh, the I means pan wheel and uh, here zoom how to zoom in Revit, how to pan, how to rewind. So, uh, if you are seeing this, uh, this is a floor plan of any building and uh, you are seeing here some symbols. This is known as 2D will and this is known as zoom. So, how to zoom and uh, use this uh, type of tools in Revit. So, suppose uh, I here in project browser this is a floor plan. This is uh, it, I, I have opened level one, and um, in this this is a floor plan of any building. And here, if you want to use these tools, so you have to uh, be very precise in using. If you are seeing my mouse moving towards the symbol. You are clearly seeing that it is when I am bringing mouse here, the color is looking fed of the 2D wheel and zoom. Uh, and I am taking my mouse nearer, it is becoming dark. So that means we are about to select it. Suppose I am using uh, this zoom zoom sheet size and in this there, there is a drop down arrow and these are there are many zoom in region zoom out zoom to fit zoom all to fit zoom sheet size previous pan zoom that uh, we need to understand suppose i am this is my floor plan and uh, by using my mouse wheel also we can zoom in zoom out and like in other softwares like autocad also we used to use our mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out Suppose I am going here and using this drop down arrow and in this I am selecting zoom in region first I am selecting zoom in region. So after that you are seeing uh, this is a symbol of uh, like lens we are about to zoom any region. Suppose you want to zoom this uh, elevator lobby. So I will. What I will do? I will just go from left side to our right side, and you are clearly saying this that, that reason is zoomed out. So this is the means method how to use zoom in reason. Next, if I am taking this mouse to zoom out, so it will minimize the floor plan. That means zoom out. And again, if I am taking this mouse zoom to fit, so it will come in proper uh, length and dimensions to our drawing area. Again, I am taking this uh, my zoom to zoom all to fit. So, what is what do you mean by zoom all to fit? Zoom all to fit uh, that means if suppose uh, this command is used only when you have more tile windows here this is a single windows like in autocad also and in 3ds max also uh, there are four viewports in 3ds max in autocad there is model space also and in uh, revit also this is our, our drawing area so suppose we have so many views open in uh, in our project suppose here it is i have opened level one so it is written level one here Again, I am double clicking level 2, level 2 will come here and again, I am clicking level 3, level 3 will come here, roof, roof will come here and site also, it is, it has come here. So suppose if I want to see all the views here, what I will do, I will go to view here just in our ribbon panel there is view 
just you have to click with this view and in right hand side there is option called tile views that means uh, all the views you will be able to see in at one place so i am just going to click tile views so we are able to see all the views one two three four five views and uh, you can make addition any uh, changes if you want to make in drawing area or you want to view we can view you now drawing area if you want to uh, cancel it you can cancel also so four views will be uh, is uh, comfortable five views or more so this these all are use of tile windows again uh, if you want to uh, switch to single view you can just go to any view and click this tab view so i we were discussing about zoom all to fit what is the use suppose i am going to this view and i am going to zoom all to fit i am going to select zoom all to fit so uh, zoom to fit i am going to select zoom all to fit so you are clearly seeing this everything is according to their drawing area everything is zoom all to fit so this is the command uh, suppose your view is uh, too much large or too much uh, small so you want you will use zoom all to fit so everything will be zoomed to proper space in all the four uh, four views like le uh, site level 2 roof level one everything is zoom all to fit next is zoom seat size so suppose i am clicking zoom seat size so you know, this drawing area has become to a, a scale everyone is familiar with a scale like here it is written one is 250 so this drawing is you can say it is zoom seat size that means it is up to a scale so suppose if you uh, want to go out of this uh, all three uh, views you can simply you have to select this view and tab views so we are here this is zoom to seat size next is uh, previous pan zoom this is uh, this will show your previous command of by using this 2d wheel and zoom it has taken us to our previous command so next is this 2d wheel and in this also there are use of this 2d wheel these all are showing in faded colors so we will just see how to use 2d wheel so suppose you want to move this uh, floor plan you can also by clicking left uh, mouse wheel we can move it around suppose i am going to uh, 3d uh, in this project browser here it is 3d views and here it is written 3d you have to just double click you will go to your 3d views mode and uh, suppose i am going to use this pan wheel i am clicking and here you are seeing many commands like orbit, zoom, rewind, pan, look, up, down, center, and walk. Suppose you want to orbit your 3D views. Just so, whenever I am uh, bringing my mouse cursor to the commands, they are becoming in red color. Uh, sorry, green color. So suppose if you want to orbit so and you have to just go to orbit and click it so we can orbit our building around so this is uh, will be very helpful for your projects when you will start making models 3d views floor plans again you want to pan if you click pan we can 
move it around you can pan it or your building and here it is rewind so rewind is it will take to your previous command whatever we have used it will rewind it so and zoom also we can use it here we can zoom our building by using zoom command suppose you want to uh, uh, in here it is written center so this will make our project in center and if you want to look around your current position okay. use this command to look around and you can use arrow arrow keys to look around these all are uh, very uh, less used but uh, mainly we use orbit pan and zoom zoom also you can use it from here so these are the use of our 2d wheel and zoom and uh, zoom command and also pan 2d pan wheel so again this if you want you can just escape it if you want to get it out from this 2d wheel you have to just escape press escape on your laptop or computer and again you are seeing here some wheel is here this is for our visualization purpose it is given in all the softwares suppose if you want to look around also we can use this steering wheel this is called a steering wheel to look around in our building also suppose if you are not comfortable by using 2d wheel you can also utilize this 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 is also very helpful suppose if you want to go to your north view you have to just click n and uh, views will be in uh, it will come in elevation mode and it is showing back elevation and north and again if you want to go to your previous position you have to you are seeing here is some uh, it's a symbol of home so it will get back to your home that means to your previous position everyone will be getting confused what is this this is just the symbol of home it will take back to your earlier position and in the same way if you want to go to your south elevation or if you want your front elevation you can just press your front and it will take to your front elevation so in 3d view also we used to work uh, by using this wheel if you see in 3d view also we can uh, work in elevation mode and in elevation view also we can utilize this to work in our elevation suppose you in elevation mode if i am clicking here north it will take back to our north elevation so these all are today's uh, discussions about how to use 2d wheels steering wheels and zoom zoom all to fit and in the next video we'll uh, become more familiar about using how to use ribbons and these all tools thanks for watching if you like my video please subscribe it like it and share it and uh, i will upload more videos and i will i am preparing full tutorial studies on this it, this is very helpful for architects and interior designing students architecture colleges thanks for watching thanks